Hey YouTubers, it's Shelly. Today's uh, tutorial on Burberry's Fall 2012 campaign. Uh, the lead model for their look is Cara Delevingne and I love everything that she models. I just want to go out and buy it right away. She's my favorite model if I were to have a favorite model because she looks very healthy and she's beautiful and that's what attracted me to this picture of their campaign. Oops, you can see my mirror. This one right here. She has a natural lip with two colors, you can tell, and kind of like a Burberry smoky eye and very natural cheeks. So if you're interested in this look, stay tuned and I'll show you how to do the exact same thing using no Burberry products. Although I did buy one Burberry lipstick, so I'll show you how that looks on me as well. Thanks guys, take care. First things first, we want to make our foundation go on smoothly, so we're going to use a face primer. Next, use a concealer to cover up any discoloration you may have. Follow that up with some foundation. I'm going to be using my Samantha Chapman Real Techniques Buffing Brush, and I'm going to use two pumps of my foundation to cover my entire face. This brush will also help even out the difference between where I have my concealer and where I don't. Because I haven't been getting much sleep lately, I need to cover up my dark circle, so I'm going to be using the Peach Tone Corrector. Next, we need to make sure that our eyebrows are as thick as Kara's, well as thick as it can be without looking fake. This whole bushy eyebrow has become one of the biggest trends for fall. I unfortunately have asymmetrical eyebrows right now, so I can only do so much, but make your eyebrows as close as possible to Kara's. More so make it thicker in the front. If you have darker colored lids, use some sort of flesh tone eye primer. I'm using the one by NYX. I bought a few drugstore things, so I'll probably do a haul on them, and I'll feature this in it as well. This will allow an even playing ground for the shadows that we're going to use. They'll show up better. Sweep Buck onto your eyelids from Naked One using any old eyeshadow brush. It's not certain what Burberry used for a wash of color on the lids. I think they might have just left it bare because they used mulberry in the crease and then they used midnight brown for the lash line. But I really can't believe that they used midnight brown for the lash line because midnight brown is a lot like MAC satin taupe and that is not as dark as what the picture is depicting. So either the picture was retouched or they used something else. To emulate the smoky red-brown they have in the crease, I'm going to use Hustle from Naked One. I'm using another Sonia Kashuk angled eye brush. Whatever you have in your collection will work. If you want to copy Midnight Brown, use Max Set and Taupe, but I want to copy the exact look she has, so I'm going to use Busted and Blackout from Naked 2. I'm just using the smudger brush. Put the color right onto your lash line. Be really close at first, and then you can work your way out.
sweep the same two colors on your lower lash line. I'm using an angled liner brush. It doesn't look like Carl's wearing any sort of mascara, which is bad campaigning on Burberry's part for the mascara that they're selling. But I'm just going to use a very natural looking mascara. Also, you need to make sure you hide any of the fallout that you got from using these dark shadows. So I'm just sweeping my concealer under my eye again. Next, use a blush, a natural color blush. I'm going to use NARS Luster because it's the most natural color I have in my collection. But even using Max Harmony on the side is going to work because they basically use Burberry's equivalent of a bronzer on her cheeks. Which in all honesty kind of looks like a blush. Also, I'm going to copy their Fresh Glow that they have, this liquid that you use to highlight. It's $44. I can't justify it. I'm going to use Max Luster Drops and use my same foundation brush to kind of blend it in. So you have two options for lips. One is to actually use a Burberry color, which I actually went off and bought for myself. It was my birthday present to myself. And it has a magnetic case. I know I'm fascinated by the stupidest things. Anyways, I talked to a lead consultant at Burberry. His name's Thomas. He's really sweet. And he helped me find out what they were using for the lip effect Cara has in this picture. They use sepia pink as a base and then mocha on top to give an antique look. The mixture of those two colors is nude rose. Like, I don't, I can't justify buying two lipsticks when I can just buy this one from Burberry. But if you want to have that antique look to the lips, you can use these colors that I just had laying around. I have Pink Truffle, which is a lot like sepia pink. Actually, it's like almost 99.99% .99 identical. And this is a lot much, it's, the lip butters go on much more softly. I think it's because it's the shade butter that it has inside. Next, I'm going to use one of my Real Techniques lip brushes. I don't even know if it's a lip brush, to be honest. And use any old nude lipstick that you have and start applying it to the center of the lips and then work your way out. If Burberry had an ombre lip, this would be their ombre lip. Do the same thing for the top lip. And that's your finished look, guys. And this is me posing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know if you have any other requests. I know some of requests a Khloe Kardashian one, so I will get on that as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.